All right, welcome back. You're still watching Money Live on SABC2. Offense Mafokosha, a grade 10 learner at Meridian School in Cosmo City in north of Johannesburg, has recently won a gold medal in the ESCOM Science Expo District competition. Later this year, Offense will be competing in the International Science Expo after winning a bronze medal at the regional competition. She is an active member of the Eco Club and has created a grotto robotics that cleans the caves. She joins us this morning. Offense Dumel, and welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Um, talk to us about uh, the Crotter Robotics. It is on our screen right now. What exactly that is? Uh, well, we, built, we decided to build a robot that's small to get into the caves to check if there's any trails left that could actually see if there's any, yeah, there's any trails that we can get in instead mm. of just walking in one direction. So we decided on making a small robot that could actually go in. All right, but how did the idea come about? Were perhaps any specifics into the competition? Uh, the idea was to actually put our minds on something that, as ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists, they're actually trying to, to make, to think, yeah, to make our minds kind of think out Thinking of the box. Thinking out of the box, yeah. yeah. All right, and uh, talk to us about the requirements of the competition and how you went about entering and so on. Uh, we actually entered by my teacher at school, okay. and it was a tough. So it was some sort of a school project for you guys. Uh, not precisely, because I think the grotto robotics started this year. Mm. So it was yeah, we entered by a teacher. So it was kind of nice, and it was a hard process. Mm. So you came up with the idea on your own, or you you had a partner in this I project? I had a partner. All right, and what happened? You started building the the robotic. Yeah, we started building the robot, and it was. It is an amazing process to, to actually... Yeah, I, I want you to take us through the process as to how everything unfolded while building it, <laughs> your experiences and so on. It, it was tough. Mm. I, could, I could say it was tough. And we didn't really expect so much pressure because we have to balance with our schoolwork. And we were told about this project during our March cycle test. So it was not a great journey at all. Mm, I can imagine. I but how long did it take you guys to build up the robot? It took us two months. Two months. For everything to be completed. Everything to be completed. So, how does it work? Does it work? Uh, does it use batteries? It does uses it use a Raspberry Pi. It uses a Raspberry Pi. Okay. And we control it by the server using because the Raspberry Pi is connected to the laptop. Okay. So we have to control it by using the laptop so it can go into the caves. Have you taken the robot to the caves? Yeah, we have went there three mm. times and. It was a nice experience. So what does it have? Does it have a camera installed on it? Yeah, it ha so the Raspberry Pi has a to. camera on it, so mm. it can see where it goes. Mm. But how did you feel when you announced the winners with this project? <sighs> it was a ni <laughs> nice feeling because you could actually imagine that uh, the, the hard work that has been put through and it's been a hard journey to go through. Mm. Mm. No, I, I can imagine. Talk to us about your love for science. I mean, this shows, it's not something that you just, you know, decided on, obviously, upon waking up. It's something that's got to be inside you, your love for science. Uh, well, I'm in grade 10, and I chose maths and science. Uh, and this was your first year, ne? Yeah, this was yeah, my first yeah, year yeah. entering yeah. the competition. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing maths and science, you have to think out of the box. Certainly. So what I did was, it's, uh, what I did was to think of something that has not been created mm. and I actually went with it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. All right, so you, you do love science and you went I on your own. I do love science. Mm. I guess there's a perception. People would be telling you that yes, your science is it, difficult. It's I can't. It's, science is it harder. No, people make it difficult. It depends if you put your heart through it and you study. Mm. Then mm. you, the more you pass, the more you enjoy it. Mm. So, yeah. All right. No, uh, the tech is here on the table. Yeah. Talk to us about these techies now from a robot to the techies. What is happening more often? Uh, well, uh, this is the ESCOM Expo Johannesburg Regional. I, uh, okay, the first one, yeah, the robot in the the district. N no, it was, I entered two expos. Okay. The one that was in Pretoria and the one that was in Johannesburg. In Johannesburg. And yeah. this was the Johannesburg yeah, part of it. this was the Johannesburg project because... Um, when you enter in the ESCOM Expo, you have to find a unique project, something that has not been created. So I decided on making an engineering project, and I saw that I don't have resources to do that. So 
I came about this project. My sister helped me to find the, the idea. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you, we always rushing on white sneakers, but we don't actually know the science behind it of wrapping with toilet paper. Mm -hmm. So just to make sure that there are no stains on they, it, right? Because okay. if, if you continue washing them without wrapping with toilet paper, it becomes like this. It becomes dirty. It becomes dirty a lot because it leaves yellow trails of water mm. after mm. being dried on the sun. Mm. Okay. So I discovered that um, I didn't get much information to work with. So I found that I worked behind the scenes of the toilet paper. Because okay. toilet paper is toilet paper is made by cellulose fibers, mm. and cellulose fibers is found in plants, and it also makes diapers. So it made sense to me because toilet paper. Cellulose fibers also makes baby diapers, which holds baby peas and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so it showed that when I'm wrapping my sneakers, it absorbs the water inside the sneakers, and the fa it only works on this fabric. Sure, I know offense. So it means that you didn't just think of the toilet paper; you had to think of what is contained in the toilet paper, the toilet paper for you to come up with this idea. Yes, and it works. It worked, and I used other methods because, like, after completing my stats, I saw that a lot of African people are dominating to this, and Europeans don't. Mm. So I saw that, and in South Africa, it only dominates in the, in the. Uh, township areas, mm -hmm. not in the urban areas. Mm -hmm. So when I came, when I went to the Eskom Expo, a lot of Europeans were so excited about and this and impressed. Yeah. That they so mm -hmm. it was a nice process and it was unique. No, it's something that you know people would not even think of think because of. I remember how mm hola -hmm. not tell a puffo ya papa net thinking what thing, yeah. well, the stains would would go, go away. away. So now the toilet paper, yeah, and everyone was impressed. Was impressed because this is. If you go to Soweto right now, you could actually, people maybe could actually tell you that this is an old thing, but a lot of people didn't know, and I was happy that my project was unique. Is it something that you've always known that it works, or is it something that you came up with uh, upon learning what the toilet paper usually contains? It's something that I always knew of, but I didn't really think that people know the science behind it. Mm, mm. So I came about making it real, because mm. they say, I want to be a biochemist, so bio, bi biology and chemistry combined is biochemistry. So this whole process showed me where, where I belong of being a biochemist. It certainly does. Now your advice, do you have any advice maybe to your peers, Takata uh, Haonje, uh, often? What I can say is don't let people pull you down because this was my first expo mm. and I didn't think I would win a, a branch and actually go to International Science Fair. And what I'll tell them is don't let anyone pull you down. And think and, out of and the think box. Out it's of all the about box. science. Ne? And all right, science. Now, offense, thank you so much. And Mashaun Olokyao. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you have it. Ufen Zema Fokosho, a grade 10 learner at Meridian School in Cosmo City, north of Johannesburg. She recently won a gold medal in the Eskom Science Export District. While we're taking a break, when we come back,